Classic Business with Michael Avery, sponsored by Alex Forbes, for insight, advice and impact. Welcome back to Accrued Interest on Classic Business, brought to you by Monocle Solutions, an independent results-focused management consulting firm specializing in banking and insurance. Now, are you tired of hearing the same old advice about landing a job in finance? Well, today we're going to be shaking things up with a guest who certainly knows the ins and outs of the industry and has got a knack for making career advice life-changing. We're going to be talking about the current stage and the trends impacting talent and skills within the financial services industry. And we have with us uh, Monocle's Patrick Burke. Senior Executive of People and Culture. Having run one of the top graduate programs for many years at Monocle, Patrick brings a host of insights on just how to enter the market as a graduate and also, importantly, how to build your successful career with the right company. Patrick, great to have you back on the show. Let's just start with Thanks, a broad Michael. kind of survey of the scene. What does the current landscape look like in financial services for graduates, given that, you know, yes, the economy may be soggy, but our banking sector remains uh, quite resilient yeah it sure does uh thanks for having me back on the show michael pleasure chatting to you again um yeah, the current landscape i have to say one thing that's always impressed me uh you know from a financial services background is that the opportunities that are out there for graduates um i've been very impressed by the the efforts that companies put into these graduate programs and you know the universities what they do on a day-to-day basis on the ground and the career services uh, at the universities, how they support their students to make sure that they're obviously connected and engaged with the right companies uh, from a campus perspective and, and the right opportunities, you know. Uh, companies look at this as, I suppose, the, the, the way to attract the, the future talent uh, and, and making sure that we get the, the right talent into the companies and that, that they can grow and have a successful career with the, the actual company itself. You know, at Monocle, we've been running a very successful graduate program for the last seven years um, since I've been involved. And each year, I've just been so impressed with the quality and the standard of the, 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 the students who firstly arrive and they arrive in on day one, um, bright eyed and bushy tail and you know, uh, they kind of come across to the corporate world looking at what is out there for them and the opportunities. And it's amazing to see from day one to the end of the graduate programs how much they develop and how they grow within the, the actual the graduate programs and the landscapes. Yeah. So very strong from a South African point of view. Um, I've been very impressed. And I said, the, as I said, the quality seems to be increasing year on year, you know, which is very exciting. That is exciting to hear because I I do think that there are pockets of real excellence within South Africa, um, particularly within the private sector. And often you have a look at expat South Africans going abroad and uh, and, and in financial services in particular. um, I know Ian Lovett made it all the way to Lehman Brothers, uh, probably not the best example before uh, it collapsed. But I mean, it just shows you South African talent rises all the way to the top. Uh, How how, how do young graduates, I mean, they're approaching this uh, with the right qualifications, they, they've got the financial uh, you know, degree and underpin, but then you enter a market that's extremely competitive and it's all about networking, it's all about finding mentors. How should young graduates and professionals identify the right company to apply for? Be- because that seems to be something uh, that, that's quite nebulous in terms of identifying the right culture and that sort of thing. Yeah, it's a great question. You know, firstly, the, the the importance of graduate programs is something that needs to really kind of have a key focus, you know, from a company's perspective and the university's perspective, because, you know, it really bridges the gap for students because it's very daunting going from a university life into the corporate or working world. The transition can be, you know, it can be daunting. And as a graduate, you know, the programs alleviate a lot of those doubts and fears and they give graduates the confidence and the skills to shine in their new companies you know so it's the first building block in the graduate's career so it's highly important that you identify the right company to apply for internships give a great kind of sneak peek behind the scenes and you know uh, you get a chance as an intern to go to the companies and spend some time get to know what the people the type of role the exposure to the work what the the culture is you said at at the company is like and and i think this is a key part that I always say, like at, at students at universities, it's really important to identify the right company. You need to engage with these companies at the university, at the career fairs, at any kind of expos, at any connect 
on campus activities companies go out of their way these days and like we we're, we've completed our graduate program for 2023 our graduates joined in january they're now um analysts and they're working on monaco projects already now they've completed the program we start and we begin the the kind of search for the graduate program for 2024 so um it's really exciting you know so the graduates they need to look at what the i always say the evp the employee value proposition what is the balance of you know behind the scenes the company the values i always say look at linkedin look at instagram see what's happened and socially what is the the culture is that a place that really resonates with you and speak to current students, you know, who have been at their university before and who are now at the companies. I think that's highly important. Get it from the people who have studied similar backgrounds and who are at the companies. And I always say, you know, connect with people and don't be afraid to send a message and say, how's it mm -hmm. going? What's it like there? I'm keen. And can you give me some hints and tips, you know? Yeah. yeah. And it's like in any career where you show uh, the the desire to learn more about uh, potential employers and and if you're proactive, even while you're a student, I, I think that helps you rise above um, what can be a very crowded and competitive marketplace. It, it comes down, yeah. I, I guess, as well to building one's personal brand, and that all starts, you know, when you're a graduate from that first meeting at uh, those uh, the, those um, graduate program days at universities, for example. How do I build my personal brand? as a graduate what are some keys here yeah i could tell you many stories about this michael you know personal brand i think it goes down to many things i think you know companies certainly like for monocle we believe in doing a lot of in-person activities you know we, we as i said we're already back on campus and the universities around the country and trying to connect with as many students as possible so straight off the bat you know day one if you can get in front of people you know, and introduce yourself and get to really kind of get a feel for the company. But I think it's it's connect um, it's connecting with the right companies and it's making sure that your brand carries through your CV and your application. You know, you see, as you said, it's a highly competitive market out there and um, you need to make sure that your CV is professional, it's concise and um, it's you know making sure that the small details like there's no grammar mistakes there's no spelling mistakes and yeah. um, when we look at cvs we get thousands of cvs every year and, and our people in culture team do a great job of, of going through each one and making sure that we respond to every application but it's making that stand out in the pack you know you need to make sure that you are representing your own individual brand give an overview of the type of person who you are what are your interests in at monocle we look for people who've got a good track record, a good uh, education and, and good background, but also, you know, who are interested in, in team activities and sports and social and cultural activities, you know, well-rounded individuals. And it's important to get that across in your CV, you know, and that's all part of your personal brand. Um, and then, you know, the next day step is when you do get your CV over the line and you get into an actual, I suppose, a, an application process, it's making sure that you've done all the necessaries, you know, prepare for an interview, dress to impress. I always find, you know, some students do so much effort in, in putting their CV out there and then they just fall at the final hurdle. And um, whether it's, you know, we're in a, a kind of a, a hybrid model at the moment, you know, you'll have some processes that are virtually, some that are in person. If, if you're in a virtual interview process at the moment, you need to make sure that you've got, you know, good quality internet, a proper camera, and that you'd even dress to impress, that you don't look scruffy, that you want to actually put your the right step forward and making sure that your your personal brand is coming across right to the company, you know. Mm. I always say the three Ps, preparation, practice, and positivity, you know. You need to be positive in everything you do and, and, and put your best foot forward as they say you know <laughs> yeah yeah well i mean we are talking about finance so it could be puts and options as well that you're putting forward but uh, i think what yeah. you just described is you know it's not just about demonstrating that you've got a good grasp of of the knowledge of, of the financial um you know underpin yeah. of whatever it is you're studing it's about being a, uh, um, a rounded individual as you say you know what, what are sure your is. what are your interests outside of that what are your values and, and how do you present those values to the world mm. critically important and especially in a world uh, 
that is being reshaped by technology and AI and would it be able to do some of those things in the future anyway? So then how do you differentiate? I mean, all of these things I think you've got to grapple with. But if you look at the, the Monocle offering and your graduate program, what, what makes the Monocle offering for students so unique? The graduate program is one that I've been very proud of in my time at Monocle. Each year we we look at the model in terms of the, the graduate program and how important it is. Um, and that training program, as I said, that it bridges the gap from the students, you know, entering the workplace. Um, and year on year, I've just seen, I've been so kind of amazed with the, the talent that we've managed to kind of find and hire at Monocle. And, you know, uh, there's so many success stories, you know, people who started day one on the graduate program who have now, become managers and have become senior people within Monaco and the organization who have made lifelong friends who didn't know each other in day one of the graduate program who were, you know, best men and, and you know, uh, bridesmaids at people's weddings. And some have grown internationally and transferred over to our UK offices as well. And it's been a real pleasure being involved in it and probably a highlight of my career, you know, seeing each year the, the changes uh, and how we kind of, remodel each year you know it, it's certainly one of the most unique graduate programs i've ever seen it gives everything from engagement to david our ceo our executives it, it gives them the graduates a chance to learn from the best technical trainers in the country and we obviously you know highly um combine technical and, and very kind of soft skills and, and mm. obviously business um, and subject matter you know and, and I think one thing that makes it very unique is from day one, you're permanently employed at Monocle. So you don't have to worry about competition for places. You know, many graduate programs out there are rotational or, you know, they hire so many people. And after the first 12 months, they'll make people permanent and some people will be let go. But day one at Monocle, you're permanently employed. It gives you the chance to really build that kind of team orientation, get involved in many sports and social events. Like this year, we had... David, who t t took our graduate program, go karting. We had rock climbing events. We had many uh, kind of unique um, social activities, um, and you know what we look for is very diverse background. We we kind yeah. of have an offering for many students. You know, masters, honors degree, finance, economics, math, stats, engineering, and the graduate program is obviously a ten week design training program that teaches you everything you need to know about finance, consulting, and the technical skills that go along with it as well. I think that's what makes it very unique, Michael. Patrick Byrne, thank you very much. Senior Executive of People and Culture, sharing his insights into graduate programs. And just if you're a graduate wanting to get into the world of finance, banking, insurance, there is some great advice, real on the ground insight into how you should be thinking about honing your skills, developing your brand, and ensuring you find the right company uh, in this week's accrued interest on classic business, which is brought to you by Monocle Solutions. From bank vaults to ones and zeros in the cloud, the world of financial services has changed dramatically over the years. For over two decades, Monocle Solutions has supported banks and insurers around the world as they navigate this change. As a bespoke execution partner, we help bridging the divide between business needs and the complex systems, processes, and data at the heart of our clients' operations. From Cape Town to Amsterdam, Johannesburg to London, Monocle Solutions, we design change. For more information, visit monoclesolutions.com. Classic Business with Michael Avery, sponsored by Alex Forbes, for insight, advice, and impact.